Our lives are like rivers that flow into the sea. Jorge Manrique, Coplas a la Muerte de su Padre. Welcome. Hi there. Let's continue our Serpentine journey through history's greatest novel. Chapter 27 extends the braying tale of Chapter 25. As such, it also situates Master Pedro's puppet show between two halves of a satire of civil war. The chapter opens with another disorienting intervention by the original Moorish author Cide Amete Berengeli. It's ironic because he swears that he tells the truth as if he were a Catholic Christian. Cide Amete, the chronicler of this great history, begins this chapter with these words, I swear as a Catholic Christian. Did you know the Quran permits Muslims to lie in their interactions with Jews and Christians? This elicits an hilarious and extensive clarification by the translator, at which the translator says that when Cide Amete swore like a Catholic Christian, he being a Moor, as without a doubt he was, this did not mean anything more than that just as a Catholic Christian, when he swears, swears or ought to swear and state the truth in everything he says, thus he too told the truth as if he had sworn like a Catholic Christian regarding what he wanted to write about Don Quixote. Labyrinthically funny, yes. But the interruption again focuses our attention on the ethnic conflict between old Christians and the Moriscos exiled in the years prior to part two of Don Quixote. Berengeli's oath recalls for us that the Moriscos were technically Christians who faced mistrust regarding their loyalty to Spain. About what does Berengeli swear to tell the truth? The identity of Master Pedro who turns out to be Ginés de Pasamonte. The narrator even reminds the reader of Don Quixote's problematic liberation of the galley slaves in the Sierra Morena in chapter 22 of part one. A charitable gesture that was later poorly appreciated and repaid even worse by those malignant and ill-mannered people. On the one hand, this characterization hints at the disloyal moriscos in Valencia and Aragon. On the other hand, the galley slaves were not moriscos, so perhaps religion does not correlate with rebellion. The narrator further recalls the printer's error regarding the one who robbed Sancho Panza's gray and the incredible artifice that Pasamonte used to steal the ass from under Sancho as told by the squire in chapter four of part two. Quixotic mission. Which people were expelled from Spain between 1609 and 1614? A. Jew B. Chinese C. Moriscos Correct answer, C. Moriscos Note also the detailed presentation of Pasamonte's relativistic theory of theater which changes according to his audience. Sometimes he put on one story, other times another. Also interesting here is that Pasamonte decided to cross over into the kingdom of Aragon. Perhaps chivalric theater is more welcome there. Perhaps this places him beyond the reach of Castile's legal system. Perhaps both of these things. So Sancho and Don Quixote now head for Zaragoza, presumably following Pasamonte's route. On the third day of their journey, they hear a great sound of drums and trumpets and harquebuses. Note how this reads like a projection of Master Pedro's puppet show. The narrator tells us that Don Quixote at first thought that a regiment of soldiers was passing through the area. This alludes to two recent civil wars. The Castilian infantry repressed the Moriscos between 1568 and 1571 and the Aragonese nobility in 1591. Cervantes' satire of war is relentless and hilarious. The people turn out to be a squadron of about 200 men marching under ridiculous banners, one in particular. One especially which was written on a standard or a banner of white satin on which was painted a most lifelike ass that looked like a small Sardinian with raised head, mouth 
open and tongue out, acting and standing as if it were braying. Under the image is a motto. They did not bray in vain, neither of the two mayors. The braying tale has now become the braying adventure. That's all for now. Join me next time as we continue interpreting the most important literary masterpiece in the Spanish language. Don't miss out on the adventures of the ingenious gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. To enroll in the course, click on the novel. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on Don Quixote. To watch more videos, click on Dulcinea. And to follow us on our social media, click on Sancho Panza.